Thank you, Joe. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Chris talked about the offensive performance, and really for both these teams, they've got players you wouldn't have even pegged at the beginning of the season to be top scoring threats for both of them. And let's start with Columbus, and what has Cam Atkinson meant to this Blue Jackets team? Pretty much everything. You, you talk about a player that can finish, he has that ability. You talk about a guy that plays passionately, uh, that has to make John Tortorella extremely happy. Watch when he scores goals. I mean, he's an explosive skater, and you can see how pumped up he is. This is a guy that can lift the whole bench. You have to love his attitude as a player that's fought for everything that he's achieved in the National Hockey League, and it's just awesome to see him have this level of success, important piece to the puzzle, a big part of their uh, recent goal scoring has come from that line with Atkinson and Dubinsky teaming up with Boone Jenner. They're looking for more balance again that hasn't been there recently, but Atkinson continues to do the job. You know, you watch his game and you just talk about his, his goal scoring, and he's one of the most consistent goal scorers all year because he comes to play every, every single night. John Tortorella said he's been the most consistent guy we've had on this team by a long shot, and you got to love a guy that comes prepared, a guy that goes to the net, that goes into those high traffic areas to score goals, especially the guy to his size. He goes in there fearlessly and he goes in there with a reckless abandon and he's not going to be denied. You love to see a guy that will not be denied and Kim Atkinson is one of those players, just a treat to watch, one of my favorites. And for the New York Rangers, JR, one of their biggest free agent acquisitions has been Michael Gradner. What has he brought to this Rangers Who lineup? Thought, I right? know. Who yeah. would have thought? I mean, it seemed like he was uh, traveling to every single team to try to find his niche, but he has found his niche with the New York Rangers. 25 even straight goals, one short-handed goal. And a lot of it becomes because of his speed. He is extremely fast, arguably probably the fastest guy in the National Hockey League. I said earlier, there's nobody in the National Hockey League that gets more breakaways than this guy. But he's very good defensively. He's good on the penalty kill. He's obviously putting the puck in the net like gangbusters. Probably the best free agent signing that happened over the summer. But uh, boy, you talk about a guy who's resurrected his career in New York. This guy is it. They got him for to be a third or fourth line guy, and that's pretty amazing. That shows the depth of the New York Rangers, why they're one of the top scoring guys at teams in the league. And that's what he is. He's a third line player in the New York Rangers. That's extremely productive at even strength. I mean, you could have not have asked for more from a player jumping into a lineup that's loaded up front. You're looking at a guy like Grabner, and you're wondering, where is he going to fit in? Where is Elaine Vigneault going to find ice time for him? And he has not given Vigneault any reason to not play him more. Uh, he's just been awesome. And we saw him before the game. He the guy's ripped. He was loaded I, with the guns. Yeah, I mean, the guy, guy, this guy, I, 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 this I, guy I, that came oh, prepared to, uh, to salvage his career because it was wobbling. And it's just great on him. And good yeah. for the New York Rangers. They have him for next year as well. This isn't a one-year deal. This was a two-year contract that he signed at a very reasonable price. So great news for New York moving forward. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Grabner lock on with the Rangers for a few more years after that. Well, let's take a look at where he lines up tonight with the New York Rangers. We take a look at the lines for Elaine Vigneault first. And Jonesy, lead us off. Yeah, if you're looking at their team, you know, to me, it's the third line that makes them so strong. Hayes has had an outstanding year on that line. Uh, JT Miller continues to be productive. Uh, to me, he's one of the uh, more intelligent players in the league. He makes some really good plays, but also has an edge to his game. And Hayes has been a, a great bounce-back story. So you've got a line that you weren't necessarily sure was going to be the, as productive as they've been this season. And Elaine Vigneault has to be really happy with a bonus coming from his third-line production. Well, for Columbus, they have to find a way to start putting the puck in the net again, whether it's power play or even strength. You see that top line. Brandon Saad's really slowed down. Wenberg slowed down. Nick Foligno's been a great leader so far. But all the way down the board, Gagne has kind of separated himself in terms of not scoring goals. He's got to find a way back on. Uh, this team, power play-wise, 28%. On their, on their the beginning of the season, only 11 right now. So a bunch of these guys right here have to get involved, especially Alexander Wenberg. He's having a career year, there's no question. He's got 18 goals, but this kid has to continue to get to the net. He has only two goals in his last 10 games, and that's in our 20 games, and that's just not enough. you got to continue to go to the net. He's got to reinvent himself to score goals, Jonesy, because... He's too much on the outside right now, like a lot of the Columbus Blue Jackets are. When you're struggling to score goals, you just have to start to keep it simple. Yeah, and you can be sure that John Tortorella is go, going over video with him, trying to get back to showing him what he was doing when he was being so successful. That's one of the best teaching tools when you have a player that's been productive during the season. Just go back to it, revisit it, uh, get his mind on the positives that he's brought to the team. And he's an outstanding young talent. We've watched him play some of the plays early this season during that 16-game winning 
losing streak had you shaking your head. So you know the game is there. Now it's just a matter of getting back. Yeah, you know what's frustrating too as an offensive guy. One thing that the Columbus Blue Jackets haven't gotten a lot of Jones in the last eight games is power plays. Only ten power plays in the last eight games. When you're sitting on the bench, and sometimes these players they thrive. We thrive on getting out there for the power play. When you're in a slump, you look forward to those power plays. Maybe you'll get a good opportunity. You'll score a goal. You'll get a point. It really invigorates your attitude. Or right now, Columbus has really been shortened on on that power play uh, aspect. And uh, if I, I can see if they get three or four tonight, Wenberg's going to be involved with at least a goal or two. Yeah, as you mentioned, they're operating about half the percentage they were at the beginning of the season. Yeah, but they're for the 0 for power 8, 0 for, 0 for yeah. 10 in their last eight games. It's just not, it's not going to cut it. Cam Atkinson warming up in Columbus, having himself a great season, and he is one goal away from claiming sole possession of third place on the franchise's all-time goals list. We will take you on this live right after this.